terrible news, everybody. The Acolyte has been canceled. Star Wars is over. How is it possible that they have left us on such a cliffhanger and the Acolyte will be canceled? There will be no season two. We will never find out whatever happened to Master Squid Game. Oh, wait, he's not with us anymore. There are so many unanswered questions. What on earth are we going to do? Oh, no. Will we ever find out what Occupational Health and Safety Administration and Smilo Red do? Will they finally bump uglies? What about Fanny Mae? Will she ever remember who she is? Or that green lady? Is she ever gonna stop lying to the Jedi Council? What about Master Yoda? Is gonna fess up and stop being a scumbag? Yes, all those questions and more. <laughs> Sorry, just had to do that for you guys. Several references in one shot. That's what you get here at Our Reviews Will Kill You. I am the man you may know as Z, and we're going to discuss a little bit about The Acolyte. I watched every single episode, and I'm pretty sure I reviewed just about every single episode, and I made the most amazing short that you have to see here of Smilo Ren getting creeped on, getting peeped on, getting creeped on. I'm going to milk that for all it's worth because I think it's a pretty funny video. So anyway, let's take a look. There are a lot of articles, so I can assure you that this is truly, truly outrageous. And that it's factual variety. So every single, or this is Hollywood Reporter. I think I have variety, and I also have IGN. Everybody's reporting the same thing, so it's clearly true. The Accolade Season 2, not moving forward at Lucasfilm. How dare you make a show that only has one season and does not have and ends on a cliffhanger how dare you have the nerve to do that i still don't know why that young kid jedi who turned out to be an ugly and old jedi within 10 years just decided to off himself with some poison i still don't know why so many unanswered questions but the article reads is uh the disney <laughs> disney plus series will end after it's first and only season. I will not get I will not get a follow-up to that hit song, The Power of Two. I want a follow-up because I love that song. If you cannot I I do love this. I know my sarcasm goes all over the place, but I do genuinely like the song. But I do and I do genuinely enjoy hate watching the acolyte because it was so bad. It was almost so bad it was good, but it was still bad. The, Le the Leslie Headland money laundering show <laughs> earned respectable reviews from critics, but was panned by audiences. It was also the least watched show uh, that they had in Star Wars. It had an 18% on Rotten Tomatoes. The show was review bombed from some quarters who perceived it as woke. We did talk about that. And certain corners of the internet going after Headland, who is a member of the LGBTQ plus IA community you forgot a couple of people there as well as a series diverse group of actors <laughs> i just i love this show so much it is so bad amanda stenberg fired back at racist racist backlash with an original song on social media what was racist about the fact that she sucked as an actress what's racist about that <laughs> she just sucked she couldn't pull it off that she played twins they were exactly the same in both. I mean, she was also written very poorly, but she had zero reactions in any scene except for when she got shot in the face several times. Why would she agree to getting spooged in the face? She got, uh, skeet, 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 skeeted. Honestly, <laughs> I can't even read what she has to say. She makes, I consider it to be one of the most important pieces of art that I've ever created. Why don't you go back to writer school and learn how to write and then tell your story and try not to tear the Jedi down because it's not the greatest idea on Earth. Ah, uh, so funny. If you, I know you didn't watch the show. Most people didn't watch, but, but 
it's almost genuinely worth watching just to have a critique of what bad writing is if you're into that kind of thing. Uh, the Acolyte canceled. This is from Deadline, which means, again, you know it's real. You know it's true. The Acolyte has been canceled. No season two. Yes, that's that's a thing that happened. That's just so, so funny. Word of the decision comes more than a month after the eight-episode first season of the series from creator, director, executive producer, and showrunner Leslie Headland wrapped up on Disney+. Plus. This The news is not entirely surprising. <laughs> the accolade did okay with critics. It doesn't matter if no one else watched it. No one watched it. Essentially, the, the the Nielsen ratings came out, and they were like, yeah, nobody's watching this. They said it generated 4.8 million views in its first day streaming. It ranked as the biggest se- series premiere on Disney+, Plus, which they manipulated that because it's two episodes. The tally rose to 11.11 million views views globally after five days of two episodes that means it only gained an additional so if you 4.8 like it just it just didn't do do what it needed to do it made its debut on nielsen's top 10 original charts at number seven that's not good and and six the next week but then it it, uh, could not sustain the momentum dropping out of the top 10 by week three out of the top 10. It couldn't even break the top 10. And what was it competing against? Nothing. Absolutely nothing. And then staying off before returning at number 10 for the release, <laughs> release the finale. It, it creeped into the bottom 10. It, and, they're, and they're underestimating this. So whatever deadline is telling you, it's far worse than what it actually is. They're saying it costs $100 million per season to make. We've heard reports that it cost over $180 million to make. Maybe they're talking about the actual budget, not versus the money laundering part of it. Again, uh, the cast of poor Lee Jung Jae from Squid Games, Master Squid Game, who learned English for this role. So terrible, but hysterical. And then IGN won't be... Everybody's reporting it, so you know it's true. Godzilla's excited. I'm not as excited because I would have 100% hate watched the second season just to see what this nonsense was. And uh, they're just reporting the same things. What a giant piece of garbage. (laughs) Uh, They gave it a 6 out of 10, which is way too high. Brimming with strong ideas for new directions in the Star Wars universe, the Accolade's first season is hurt by clumsy storytelling. You're telling me. This... Does this end up? Is this the end of Star Wars as we know it? Will we actually see any movies? Will Kathleen Kennedy finally put herself out to pasture? Do we have to call Old Yeller's master and take her out behind the shed and do what needs to be done? Who knows? Let me know what you think down in the comments below. Are you saddened by this? I am sad. You can admit your feelings because that's what Star Wars is made of now fifis and mind reading only when you feel like it, <laughs> only when you get consent or not consent. Let me know what you guys think. I would love to hear it. But in the meantime, catch our full-length audio podcast. It's also live-streamed here on YouTube, 7.30 p.m. Eastern Standard Time, Friday nights. It's a lot of fun. Hope you, uh, you hope you will enjoy it. Come join the party. It's a lot of fun. In the meantime, I can't believe this is real news, but I am on to the next one.